Hello and welcome to the Gunworks Gun Integration Overview. In this video, I'm going to walk you guys through the necessary things you need in order to get your guns ready for the color core. I'll also be showing you an example of how to implement your guns in Engine. For the sake of the tutorial, I've created this example gun to explain the process. In order to customize our guns inside the color core, we'll need to equip it with several base maps. We'll also be utilizing the current existing base maps for non-customizable parts of the gun. A list of files we'll need. A color mask, decal mask, rough metal wear, albedo AO, and your normal map. Built inside the color mask, we have two masks per channel. We're masking seven different material types within this color mask. Red masks our primary camo enabled plastic. Green masks our secondary plastic. Blue masks our tertiary plastic. Yellow masks our primary camo enabled metal. Magenta masks our secondary metal and cyan masks our tertiary metal. In the alpha channel, we're using it to mask rubber. The color mask can easily be created in Photoshop using UV snapshots from your 3D software, or in Substance Designer using the SVG tool. Just make sure your shell mask borders have ample padding to avoid edge bleeding. In order to keep something non-customizable, simply leave it black in all of your material type masks. The decal map contains any logos, type, and details that may appear on the gun. It occupies the red, green, and blue channel of its own file, so your decals may contain color. In the alpha channel, we store the decal mask so we can blend it above everything else. Our rough metal wear asset is a per channel map as well. In the red channel, we're storing our base roughness map. In the green channel, we're storing our base metallic map. And in the blue channel, we're storing our wear mask. The wear mask is an edge wear map generated in Substance Designer with the use of our base normal map and AO map. The Albedo AO map contains a base Albedo in the red, green, and blue channels with AO stored in the alpha. Lastly, we'll need your base normal map as well. Once we've got our maps prepared, we're ready to toss it into the engine. With our engine open, we need to import our assets. It should be noted at this point that we'll need an icon for our gun, so it can be properly represented within the UI. Navigate to these folders and create a folder for your gun in each of them. Now let's set up a material instance of our base Gunworks material and hook our imported maps into it. Navigate to Gunworks Materials GW and create a material instance of Gunworks M and put that into the Gunworks Materials Weapons folder for your gun. Once we've imported our content to its respective folders, we need to find the global UV bias for our mesh so the textures appear consistently scaled between guns. First, we should navigate to Gunworks, Meshes, Weapons, and drag a UV bias key into our level. Next, let's drag our gun mesh into the level next to the bias key. Make sure you set the gun material to global scale bias alignment match. Open up the match material instance. From here we can tweak the global scale bias until the alignment textures are approximately the same scale as the key. Once we're happy with the scale, update the scale parameter in the material instance associated with your gun, and delete the meshes we placed into the level for scaling.
Now we should add our gun to the Gunworks Blueprints. Navigate to Gunworks, Blueprints, Enums, and open up the Gunworks Gun Collection Enum. Add an option for your new gun here. Now we should navigate to Gunworks, Blueprints, Weapons, and open up the Gunworks Gun Blueprint. Find the Complete Gun Collection Array variable. Add an element to the array. Set the gun name to your gun enum and assign your gun icon. Next, select Part Makeup and add an element. Set your skeletal mesh here. Change your socket to root and input your UV scale bias. Next, you'll need to add five material map elements and set them to your imported maps in this order. Albedo AO, Color Mask, Normal Map, Rough Metal Wear, and Decal Mask. With these set, you should be in a clear to launch and test with your gun. 